picture this it's March and a little weeb whose name will not be mentioned just discover that Comic Con is happening in May. Well, my friends, that little antisocial weirdo is definitely not me, and anyone who says that it is is lying to you. My friend told me about MCN Comic Con in March, and uh, it was going down about May 27th to the 29th of May. So that would make it a three day event. Now, me who has never been to Comic Con was understandably excited. And by that I mean I cancelled all my shifts, bought tickets the moment they came out, and like no plans, nothing. So this video is probably going to concentrate on three things and that's my first impressions when I got there, um, my general experience, you know, good and bad, and my general thoughts after going through the whole thing. So this was the first day of the event and on the train something weird happened. Of course like the second day I was like, I expected it, but I, on the first day I did not expect to see so many people going to Comic Con, you know, in costumes that you'd probably only use when you're in your room in silence, so no one can see you. So you just look sad. Um, yes, okay. So the thing is, I did not expect so many people in costumes showing off their weirdness out in the open, so clear for everyone to see. It was really nice, really surreal, and I was like, yeah, I wish we could do this more often. So, I had two thoughts. My first thought was, oh, this is nice, wholesome nonsense, blah, 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 blah. And my second thought was, wow, so many people have swords. And I realized that I had vastly underestimated the amount of people on this planet who own swords. Like, unironically, they own swords. And I thought, this is awesome. Like some of these characters that were being cosplayed did not even have swords. I mean, I don't remember um, Kaguya san from Kaguya Love is War having a sword, but that didn't stop this grown man with hairy legs from having a sword in a dress. But you know, it's fine. We live in a new generation and everything's a okay. Go democracy. It was also kind of fun how like the announcers on the train kept making like jokes about the event. They'd be like, oh, make sure you hold your sword properly lest you stab someone. I'm like, ah, oh, that's pretty funny, but true, guy, hold your sword properly. <laughs> and I don't know, that was just kind of, it was kind of just nice, nice feels and all that, wholesome stuff, blah, 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 blah. I will not be wholesome on this channel. Now, honestly, honestly, in any other situation, these guys, like these cosplayers, would be very, very suspicious. Some guy going at Freddy Krueger, um, having weapons. They're like, it's, it's fun. It's all fun in games right now. But I thought to myself, this, this, this would be like, this would be very suspicious on like any other day. If a cop came out, I was going to arrest somebody. I would arrest the guy in costume first. <laughs> Not trying to. <laughs> Not try to heal anyone, like I, I would. That makes just makes logical sense. Like, why is it possible that they have a mask? And yeah. But today, everyone was just having fun, and I think I wish every day could have been like that. It was really nice, and all the feels and everything. Now, in my experience and infinite wisdom, of course, that I have gained from going to Comic Con just one time, I am here to give you some friendly advice. And that is, if you are ever going to Comic Con or an event like that, ha please, I'm begging you, please have a plan. Because I have to say, I did not have a plan other than, like, who, like, of course, you know who you want to meet there, everything you want to do. But, like, have a proper plan. Because my, my idea of what I was going to do was I was going to go in there, have some fun take some pictures, look around, see people and all that and I only had one thing 
that I really wanted to do, and that was meet the Trash Taste crew. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang, 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 bang. And the worst thing that could have happened, happened because on the two days that I went, I was not able to meet them. I was not able to watch the show, which sucked. But thank God for this absolute angel that was in line when I wanted to get my stuff signed. He took my um, Jujutsu Kaisen manga and took it up to have it signed for me. And well, now I have a signed copy of that. It really was really nice, really good. And thank God for that. Now, the reason I really advise you to get Plan as well is because if you are like me, a sheltered young me who has never done any of this, like, anything like this before, and you go into an event just filled with people doing lots of weird stuff, I, you, I mean, you don't know what it's like to be hit with so much maidenless energy that it's over 9,000! basically just gave away all my money <laughs> you know i mean it sounds funny now but i gave away all my money and there was like a hint of regret but let's be honest i really really needed that goofy cigarette <laughs> it's it was worth it and i also have a dragon ball now and guess what i also bought a sword so now i am one of those people in the world who now has a sword and i'm proud of that Honestly, I have never bought so many things all at once in my life before and after the train ride, I just needed the sword, don't ask me any questions, I don't regret it, it's why I keep telling myself every morning when I look at it, even though I haven't touched it since the event, but it's fine, it's fine, I'm fine, I don't need therapy, okay. Alright, just to make this clear again, the only thing I really wanted to do was meet the Trash Taste guys, Connor, Joey, Guns, and you know, have something signed, maybe take a few pictures. But again, because of my lack of planning, I was not able to get a picture because I got dis I got distracted, okay? I got distracted. There was other stuff, there was ice cream, there was people and I got distracted, okay? Don't judge me. However, I am always saying this again because of how lucky I was. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I still managed to get the autograph and that was because the Lord himself in heaven had mercy on my soul and some uh, someone and someone in line decided to take my manga and get it so and you have no idea how lucky I was because there were just people in the line who were even I saw other people asking like hey get this side for me and everybody was like no 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 be you know selfish and all that and well it's not really being selfish they, they were in line early but this guy was the I, I, I was so lucky to have approached this guy first try first person so you know lucky me I guess Another thing I went to Comic Con to do was to see how well I converse with people, which is something that if you don't be, I am very, very horrible at doing. Right? If it's to talk to someone, like on someone else's behalf, I can do that. I'm not the one getting burst, it's you. I can say what I want and ruin your life. But this time, you know, I'm talking for myself and I'm like, uh, I'm never, never used, I'm not used to that, I'm not good at it. And basically that's all. And so to get this done, I basically go around the whole place, you know, ask for pics with cosplayers that had really good cosplayers and sometimes just have conversations with random people at the place at the event and it was it was honestly one of like the best things. I met this jobless stormtrooper which was very awesome. He came uh, he came as like a stormtrooper who like didn't who like lost his job after the Death Star exploded and it was really fun he had a whole printed out resume and everything I don't know if I can show it would that be a problem uh, what about I just won't show it you guys have to just imagine it or maybe I should I'll think about it I'll think about it whatever is in the videos whatever happened so I basically took pictures with Darth Vader 
and some stormtroopers and this guy who looked very like way way too much like benedict cumberbatch and in fact he even came in a doctor strange costume it might have been him but i don't think it was i hope it wasn't because it would have been sad if it wasn't i didn't know also even though i have like the worst game in the world he's out of line but he's right I spoke to this really pretty girl whose number I managed to get when we still talk up to this point but she was like addicted to Final Fantasy 4 which is really fun so those are the kind of people you meet there people who are like really into gaming, really into comics, really into manga and all that and if you are planning to go it's going to be a very nice experience for you and that's just my two cents so we're about the end of the video and I have to explain that I have I do have many thoughts on the event. Um some good, some bad, like maybe how they could have gotten a more like a larger space. They probably weren't expecting as many people to come as like did. And it really just comes down to would I go again and my answer honestly is yes. In fact I am going again in October. And for everyone watching this video who does know what cosplay is and is wondering if I did cosplay, the answer is no, I did not cosplay and I kind of wish I did but it was my first time, you know, didn't want to do anything too serious and but this time, this time I am going to cosplay and I am going as a Jedi. Hello there! So for those of you going, maybe you'll see me, but you probably wouldn't know that anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the end of the video. If you managed to get here, thank you. And like and subscribe. Check out the other videos that will probably be on the screen. Yes, they are on the screen. They're over there. Go check them out. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.